how to permanently set system-wide environment variable on remote Linux with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. There are mainly two way of setting up a system-wide environment variable on Linux. The main is uh, using slash etc environment. This is a system-wide configuration file, which means that is uh, read by all user. It is owned by root, so you need a root privilege to modify. Specifically, this file store the system-wide locale and path settings. We are going to edit this file in this demo. Another way is to customize slash etc slash profile and specifically the profile D directory where all the global bash script of initialization reside. This file gets executed wherever a bash login shell is entered via console, terminal, SSH or graphical user interface. So, these global scripts get executed before the user-specific scripts. Each user can define its own dot .profile and uh, as a uh, a personal cell initialization script. Every user has one and can edit their file without affecting others. But for this demo, let's focus on slash etc slash environment. And talking about demo, let's move on and I will show you how to automate and permanently set remote remote system-wide environment variable on Linux with Ansible Playbook. Are you ready to have fun? Let's go! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one Ansible Playbook to permanently set remote system-wide environment variable. So let's begin our playbook with free dash because it's a YAML file and a name for a play. In my case, set environment demo that is going to be executed against the host all of my inventory. Uh, other setting, okay, let me set the force to gather facts just to, for speeding up because we don't need Ansible facts. And I need to set become true because uh, this file is owned by root, so I need a root privilege to edit. It's handy to define a list named OS underscore environment with some key and value. I'm going to customize the standard editor with a value of VI. Yes, I'm a VI fan. And then let me define my underscore env underscore variable with a value of, uh, for example, the text Ansible pilot. Yeah, just something new. So you can use a standard variable, but also some customized as well. On the task list, there is only one task that is going to be named customize slash etc slash environment. I'm going to use the ansible dot built in dot lining file module. This is specifically for configuration file. Mm, we need to define the destination file, in my case, slash etc slash environment, then the state of a single line that need to be present. And what else? Oh, let me add also regular expression to match every line that start with the key that we would like to verify. So in my case, the key is stored uh, under the list uh, and we are going to use a loop. So I need to use uh, item.key and that need to be equal to item.value. Here we go. 
uh, let me copy and paste because it will be useful on the next parameter. Next parameter is line, which affect the single line of a configuration file that need to be edited with item key equal item dot value. Oh, wait a second, there is a mistake. I need to match the regular expression of item dot key, which means for every line with the specific key need to be uh, validated against the value. Oh, let me also loop on uh, all the OS environment, uh, all the uh, all the elements of uh, OS underscore environment. So here we go, twenty line of code, no more, no less. We are going to configure our etc slash environment and set every variable that we want as well as, as usual you can customize the variable on the vars list and you are going to define every key and value for os environment that we need on our linux remote host are you curious to see on a live system, let's move on to my terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH. DevOps is my username at demoexample.com. Let me switch to root to be able to print env. We list all the available environment variable for this system. Uh, let me grab for specific one uh, editor, nothing is defined, and my underscore env underscore variable, no value, which means these variables are not defined. Let me cut uh, slash etc slash environment to verify that the file is empty. Yay! I could also list the slash etc slash profile D, but no changes will. Uh, we are going to make on this file. These are a pretty standard configuration as you can see. So let me disconnect from my demo machine and run my Ansible playbook. As usual, Ansible playbook command. Let me specify the inventory of my demo machine and then my playbook. The execution will be very fast because Ansible is going to edit a file line by line and add, as you see, change status means uh, some uh, changes happen on the target machine, specifically the two key and value that we define it. If you run again, you get OK status because module is hidden potent, which means uh, that only verify if the line is already present. Let me verify manually as you as before DevOps at demoexample.com. Let me switch to root and this time let me print and grab editor. Yay! We have VI and what happened? Do we have also my underscore env underscore variable? Yes! So great result. Let me cut uh, this file to show you the content at the moment. And it looks like as expected. Oh, great success! You see, it's very easy to define environment variable using Ansible. This task will save a lot of time in your system administrator journey. I know, and also is going to keep your fleet in a very stable state. So it's a good tool to put in your toolbox. Thank you, Ansible. Now you know how to permanently set system-wide environment variable on remote Linux with Ansible using 
slash etc slash environment configuration file. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment, and in general, keep in touch with me. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot, and have a great and fantastic day! This video is part of our Ansible Automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!